we just got done riding the new 2014 Kawasaki Ultra 310X jet ski. I know it's a mouthful. The engine was never lacking in power. I mean, considering it had 300 horsepower at the crank before, you knew it was a rocket ship. Um, but that little bit extra power, like it, it works, man. Like it's got a little bit more of a mid-range kind of like, almost not really a hit, but when you're like at a total stop and you give it some gas, the thing comes online a lot faster. It just kind of pulls you out of the water with a little bit more punch. I really like the storage on the Kawasaki 310 Ultra. It's got a gigantic nose compartment. Um, it's not totally waterproof, so you have to kind of have a dry bag just to make sure nothing gets damp. But you can get put tons of stuff in there, you know, your sandals, a little pocket umbrella, um, your drinks, some food, and uh, just it, it's just cool to be able to bring stuff with you when you're riding with friends and family. And it's cool to see Kawasaki actually trying to, you know, make the riding experience better. And I, I really like the, the functionality of their Jet Sound uh, twin speaker systems in the LX model. Um, they're super easy to use. Um, yeah, the dashboard buttons could be a little bit bigger, but they work good and the sound system sounds great. Other features of the 300 310X that I love are just the, the cruise control. Um, it's just, it takes a little figuring out to get to figure out how to work it, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really, it's easy to use and it kind of helps you just kind of keep your speed. Yeah, I wish they had a hands-free, a total hands-free cruise control, but I think for safety, it's just never gonna happen. Um, but overall, it's just a really, really nice machine. It handles easy, especially on the calm water and choppy water, it handles real well too. All around, it's a really, really, really good ski. And it's cool to see Kawasaki committed to the jet ski market and keep on, and keep on innovating.